right, so here he is out of the blue corner, the number one heavyweight contender fighting for the title here tonight. Daniel Cormier has eight championship belts at home. Do you remember, though, the nerves for your first UFC title? Fight? It's the most overwhelming thing you've ever <laughs> felt in your entire life. You are sitting in the back waiting for that moment where you get an opportunity to go chase something greater than yourself. So many people have played a part in getting this man to this spot. How does he deliver? How does he not let anyone down? How does he ultimately become the champion of the world? This is a big spot for him. He is so excited to try and become the man. Well, self-belief is a powerful thing. He has long thought that he is the best heavyweight in the world. Tonight, he gets a chance to prove it. respect and appreciation as we have for the skill sets of the lower weight class athletes there is nothing in pro sports quite like a ufc heavyweight championship fight that is a reality you've been there you've done that baddest man on the planet putting that very distinction on the line tonight yeah the champ walks again and he wears that proudly johnny wants to be called the champ he loves to be called the baddest man on the planet he is so skilled he's so dangerous he's so scary and he gets up for these types of challenges. He intends to never let go of his belt. He understands the challenge in front of him here tonight, but he has been forged by this training camp, the championship experience he has accrued, and we'll see if he can lead the way he enters as the greatest heavyweight in the world. Well, a lot of us remember when this arena was erected and a lot of UFC history has played out here since. Eddie Hot Arena sold out tonight in Abu Dhabi for the latest UFC pay-per-view. Or kill of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Dynamite. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Ricky Boy. Herb Dean, Ready our fight. referee for this Ready. one. Go. All right, well, you can feel the energy and the buzz as we return to what has really become a destination on this UFC calendar here in Abu Dhabi at the still fairly new Etihad Arena. A lot of athletes getting a chance to compete here tonight. He's hurt. He's hurt. Now he's back up. Going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Tries to take out the leg. Beautiful leg kick lands. Right on the button. Wow. And now leather being thrown on both sides. Great punch. Oh, how good is this? One minute into the fight, and we got a full-on pro. These guys said that they were going to point this into the octagon, and they were going to fight. Did I believe them? No. So right now, I am so wrong. They are doing exactly what they said. Yeah, shades of Max Holloway against Ricardo Lamas back in the day. Oh, beautiful job here defensively, and then he lands the counter shot. So he's really starting to get the timing of his opponent and working this fight right into his wheelhouse as the consummate counter strike. Bleeding now, nasty cut on his nose. Oh, nice. And 
doing work with the jab. Massive head kick. Three minutes. Keeping busy now, connecting with those punches. Oh, and he lands another pinpoint counter. He has done that one appeared to stun him. Circling to his right. Nice job by the defensive fighter. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Straight punch, that is useful. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, blood's in the water. You gotta go get it. You gotta go find the finish. You cannot set him off the hook like that, because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you at the moment. Great job moving into his opponent and getting to that single cow time. Oh, this is not good. That right eye starting to shut. Under two minutes to go. Oh, oh, he might be out. Now working the body with the elbow. Oh, man, he's still targeting that cut, and it is getting worse by the minute. Always offensive. Lands a shot from the bottom. Oh, he's back up again. You gotta like that. Oh. Trying to finish this fight. You gotta fight back. Oh, a beautiful fight instinct there as he reverses position. And now he's got the dominant position. He did a fantastic job recognizing, man, I have got to get on the offense. From bottom to top to dominant position. What a great job. Big ground and pound. All right, so it has been punches and strikes in bunches tonight. His opponent is wearing it. And when you see swelling like that, maybe a face. Oh, he got it. And we'll get back to his feet yet again. Oh, but not a good look for the judges here. Look how wobbly he is. Oh, just open it up on him now. Oh, beautiful combination. Oh, there's that patented leg kick. Oh! And that will do it! Holy smokes! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 38 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Dynamite. So there he is, the new UFC heavyweight champion, DC. I remember when that was your reality. I'm not sure I've ever seen you so emotional in the octagon. I mean, I was so excited. He could take a breath, but he better turn right around yeah. and yeah. focus on what's right behind him because there are sharks in the water the moment that belt changes hands. A lot of guys will be looking to take it from him, but congratulations to the champ. He's got his knife.